Tremendous advances in research and treatment in early and metastatic breast cancer in recent decades have led to more than 40% reduction in breast cancer mortality in some high-income countries. However, the Lancet Breast Cancer Commission has highlighted gross inequities in breast cancer care in both low- and high-income countries globally, with many groups being systematically left behind, ignored or even forgotten. The Commission showcases three new findings. Firstly, the number of people living with metastatic breast cancer is unknown and many do not receive appropriate care. With adequate resources and a shift in attitudes, it may be possible to cure some patients with metastatic breast cancer, treat most, alleviate the suffering of all and abandon no one. Secondly, hidden breast cancer costs and suffering can be financial, physical, psychological, emotional and social. These impact children, families, communities and the wider society. Exposing and reducing costs and suffering provides incentive for policymakers to invest in prevention, early detection and cost-effective therapy and optimal management of breast cancer. Thirdly, improving patient communication improves quality of life and body image, but also adherence to therapy that can impact survival. Breast cancer robs many patients of power, but through good communication and facilitating patient autonomy, there could be an opportunity to regain power, emerge stronger than before, and exercise empowerment in other areas of their lives. We have developed an inclusive, evidence-based roadmap to address these urgent challenges. This is divided into six themes. Breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer worldwide, and by 2040, the annual incidence is predicted to be over 3 million new cases a year. This upward trajectory, however, is not inevitable and therefore is unacceptable. Action now can prevent future breast cancer incidences. How do we go about it? Risk factor education is vital, but needs to be combined with policy change that supports sustained behavioral changes and helps to reduce health inequities. In addition, coordinated approaches to systematically identifying individuals at increased risk of getting breast cancer and offering them evidence-based solutions and interventions to reduce the risk are proposed as aspirational goals. Science and clinical research can facilitate equitable and prompt access to the right treatment at the right time for each individual while respecting personal needs and preferences. Better targeting of treatments is also needed to identify patients who benefit the most and to reduce the treatment burden for those more likely to have toxicity and gain from these therapies. There's an overwhelming need to develop novel, efficient, patient-centered, clinical trials and enable a robust global research culture and infrastructure to ensure that patients can access these worldwide, irrespective of where they live. If used optimally, digital technology does have the capacity to help to alleviate inequities rather than drive disparities. The Commission places metastatic breast cancer as a central theme and urges for inclusion of these patients in active discussion. Our international healthcare professional survey suggests there is a growing belief that some people with metastatic breast cancer can be treated in a similar way as chronic illnesses for many years, and some patients may even be cured of their disease. High quality data on cancer relapse, including breast cancer and other metastatic cancers are urgently needed. Women with low incomes and minoritized populations in all countries often have the disease diagnosed at late stages with a high risk of dying from the disease. A sustained decline in breast cancer mortality rates is feasible and can be achieved by diagnosing at least 60% of patients in stage one and two. So, in collaboration with the WHO Global Breast Cancer Initiative, we call for action to deliver stage shifting as a critical and central strategy to improved early diagnosis rates. Emerging technology innovations should be combined with integrated health systems, education and advocacy to impact breast cancer prevention, diagnosis and treatment to improve outcomes all over the world.
the hidden costs and serious health-related suffering of breast cancer go unmeasured in global health metrics, so their alleviation is not prioritized by policymakers. Our commission calls for new and validated tools to capture the myriad of costs and suffering experienced by patients, caregivers, and families experiencing breast cancer. These novel tools could influence priorities to ensure that supportive and palliative care is available to all and at every stage of the breast cancer pathway, alongside financial protection to prevent catastrophic and impoverishing health expenditure. Being female is the greatest risk factor for breast cancer, and women's fundamental human rights have historically been accorded lesser respect than men's in all settings. Prioritizing patient autonomy regarding medical treatment is paramount to close the gender equity gap, and this empowerment will have broader impacts for the physical, social, and financial well-being of women globally. We propose a framework to improve communication and decision-making by placing patients at the center of clinical communication and empowering them to exercise their voices, become fully informed, and choose their level of involvement in decisions about their care. Detailed, measurable indicators of progress are also needed, designed to be actionable, auditable, and to facilitate lobbying for change. Our work with the Lancet Breast Cancer Commission will not end with this publication. We have ongoing collaborative research and will continue to strive to raise the bar and close the equity gap for breast cancer. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.